I will come back to Mala here. Uh, I am now going to demonstrate that uh, uh, reposition descriptive flux rate. And yesterday it was not coming. So I was not having a time yesterday. So they just started to work on it now. So let me share the screen. So the problem here is what when you go there, <clears throat> this place, when I click on the reposition, <clears throat> we have not done it properly actually yesterday. So go there. The city is visible here. The city is visible with the drop down. You know, the default is Madras is also coming properly. So I drop it down. And then you can now see the Madras and Bombay are coming. Now, when you go to the actions and then bring it to edit mode, it is now vanishing actually. It is now vanishing. It. So this is now getting vanished. So when you go to edit mode, what happens? It is not getting vanished. So I've already created a, a sandbox. You can now see the yellow strip over there in the top now. Right? So I'm not going to edit it actually. Right? So what I have to do is, uh, uh, I, I've now done it properly. So this is the one. So you go to what? Uh, you go to uh, what happens? You open the page and then everything is there. This page, you're going to customize it actually. And then you click on the name on the right hand side top and then go to the edit pages. So go to the place and then click on edit pages. Now I have to go straight away to structure actually. When you go to the edit pages, what happens? You go there. So you'll be finding the structure over here. No, right? Do not go via view source. No, right? I was yesterday going for this. No, right? you, know, you go to the structures really, and click on the structures. Here, right? So go to the structure here. Right? I'm in the structure. So this is a place where we have to edit actually. And then I will now pull it up straight. Right? Pull up. There is a bottom most black line at the top. No? And then this has to be edited. This, this activity has to be edited. So this is a place where that uh, requisition DFO will be going. I click on it. And then I bring it to the edit mode. So we are going to the edit mode. So you click on it, it will be going to the edit mode. Fine. So now so many things are coming. So we have to identify where is our descriptive flux field. Go down, go down, go down. So you can now see this descriptive flux field is there. And then it is in a grayed out form. Fine. It has to be enabled actually. Fine. So click on the descriptive flux field. And then here, as soon as you click on left hand side, click on the what's called the wheel icon. Now. So click on the wheel icon. So click on the wheel icon. <clears throat> So once when you click on the account, so the read only is coming, or it has to be false. No, fine. It was like this actually. Then afterwards, I drop down and then choose as a false, no, false. And then auto submit is true, rendered is true. So we can even go for the inline style and thing. You can talk to the technical, they will not tell you a lot about it. So this will now facilitate you to position the DFF in the appropriate manner actually. And then mode, it drop down. I am now again, what happens, I leave it as a you know, blank fang. The self service Pokemon is okay because it's coming under SSB, but it is not, it's only pure Pokemon. So, this much is sufficient. I go to the next flux field global content segment. Next field, I'm going over there. So, rendered is true, required is false, read only is false, and then auto submit is true. This much I have given. So, and then segment code, if you drop down, I will now say uh, A01 city now. A01 city is the one. And let me choose the segment code also. A01 city is the segment code. Which I choose now. <clears throat> I'm not also very good on this. No, fine. I'm no some or other doing. So I will not modify. No, fine. A zero one city. <clears throat> I will not say underscore. I will not say no, no. Fine. Label. I'm giving something else. We'll not see that the name is coming. No, short description. I will not say. What is that? Short description. And then the columns is okay. Fine. So I'm not giving a short description. Also, to it label. I modified it. <clears throat> the segment code. I have not modified the label as a modified. No, fine. I will not go to the flex field context segments. So the context segments, we don't have any context at all. Fine. We have not made any context segment at all. So go to the child components. <coughs> child components also, we are not done anything. Okay. So with this information, what happens? I go there and then I will apply. The main one, what happens? The false, true, true. <coughs> and then the, in this place, the only two places we are doing. Now. So it's the one fine. So click on apply and then click on OK. Now what happens? It has to get enabled actually. Here itself, we have to see. Fine. Click on OK. So this has to become enabled actually. Click on OK. Apply and then OK and go there. So if you keep my cursor somewhere else, then you can see the descriptive flex field is enabled actually. Right? So if the descriptive flex field is enabled, that means what? The activity is complete actually. So go there. So now uh, having modified this, there is no need to save and all. Right? It is already automatically saved actually. And click on close. I'm going to give a close. So click on close. <clears throat> now you can see that in this place, what happens? It will be coming as such. It has to come now. Right? So let us now uh, do one thing. Fine. It has been done actually. Uh, there is no save and all is there. So let us not publish it and then see it actually. <clears throat> it is even though it's not visible here. Not fine I know on the top item I'm gonna close actually. So click on it. The publishing is a four-step process. Fine. Click on publish is the first step. <clears throat> first step is the publish. And then yes is the second step. So second, this is the second step. The top I closed it, remember. And then the third step is what again publish. Fine. Click on yes, no fine. Again. The warning is now giving. Fine. Click on again. <clears throat> you have not saved the changes, it doesn't matter. Go there. And then the third step is again publish. 
and then again the fourth step is what yes no so this is the four step process <sighs> so it's not getting published so it's all gone now fine so click on done and then afterwards uh, uh, the ones with the yellow color is gone whatever you better log out and log in and then come back and see you now and click on it log out sign out and then sign in it's again a, a lot of activity you have to cancel the technical and then uh, do it now we are doing it on a, a slightly a trial and error actually so this must be done very properly when you learn it fully you can do the customization of the page to a great extent so go to the procurement and then i go to the purchase requisition <clears throat> So go there. I will now click on the hyperlink on the 1004 where the requisitions are incomplete status. I click on it. Now go there. I will now click on the edit mode. Then here, what happens? It has to appear once when it is edited, it has to appear now. So go to actions and then go to edit mode now and click on edit mode. You go there. What? No, see. On editing, it has to come. So it's still not coming. So I will now log out and log in and then see now. Thank you. I will now sign out and sign in. <clears throat> sign out and then sign in. Sometimes the changes will be visible only when you sign out and sign in now. <coughs> so I'm signing it on signing in now. So click on yes. So click on confirm. And that will again sign in. For some of the changes to be visible, you have to sign out and sign in now. Click on it. I will now go to the procurement and then I go to the purchase requisition. So go to this place and all that. So click on the hyperlink of it. Click on the hyperlink of it. <clears throat> go there. So now you see the, the thing is A is loan city, Nana is visible actually. So go there. So I will now bring it to the action mode for action and then go to edit mode. So it should not vanish actually. Once when I go there, it should not vanish actually. A is loan city, Nana should not vanish actually. Or oh, it's again vanishing actually. It is not coming at all. <clears throat> oh, it is there, but it is not on the right hand side, but it is on the left hand side actually. It is on the left hand side actually. Not coming Maybe in the previous screen also it might have been come on the left hand side. I'm not very sure about it. <laughs> I've not seen it properly. Okay, fine. It's not coming. So this can be positioned anywhere on your screen, actually. Fine. It can be positioned anywhere on the screen. So I'm not, I was only looking at the right hand side, but it was it is now come on the left hand side actually. Now go there. I will now go to the manage approvals and then see. Fine. We are given two conditions, fine. One for one for Metros and then one for Bombay. I, I not I'm not remembering it exactly. And then make an R and D on that. So you'll be able to what I was saying, do it better actually. <clears throat> We'll go there. So click on okay. Fine. No Madras. I think we are not written anything. I think fine. Back. We'll go there. We'll now make it to the Bombay and then see. Now fine. Click on it. Now go to the Bombay. So make it to the Bombay. And go there. Right. I will now give a save. Fine. Click on save for Bombay. What happens? Now go there. Go to the manager approvals. Go to the manager approvals. <clears throat> now see whether anything is coming or not properly. So this DFOPs are extensively used in the industry based upon conditions. Fine. They will now generate different different approvals and it's still not coming so let us now go there and then have a look at our approval group now right? so right click and then duplicate we'll now have a look at it so somebody might have even modified it actually and somebody might have disabled it and so many things might have happened now and go that point i will now go to what go to setup and maintenance because this is a global one and then it is across LE actually the approvals so so many people will be fiddling around so you have to test the things very fast and then come out of it so let's go to manage percentage correct percentage APP percentage. So manage requisition of the Click on the hyper hyperlink of it. Now go on and see. We were doing it on the header hierarchy three actually. So that so you see somebody has now chosen something else. I'm not disabled it. And we were using this. And I'm not disabling that. So I go to the header hierarchy three and then let me enable it. Then header hierarchy three is now enabled. I will now go to the edit rules and then have a look at it. So click on edit rules. So here so many rules are there. That. So here uh, they are all for different uh, what I mean, the business units and so they won't fire actually. So I have one thing, fine, well, I click on it, this is the one, the requisition DS1, go that one. I will now have a look at the A01, this is unit, fine, well, so if this is the condition actually, fine, I will now say, header, header text attribute is equal to one, equal to Bombay, then what happens if we had to use approval group one. So if it is going to be Bombay, then approval group one will be coming, well, this is what is, the other one has been disabled, well, so that is the one, and then in the A01, first one, fine, this is disabled actually, so in this one, so, uh, Bombay means what? Approval group one means what? Only one employee. And then in this place, if you go there, there is an automatic one. So, the only the, this thing has come up. Right? Only your uh, or, uh, application developer has come. So, these are only two rules actually. Mm -hmm. The only two rules. Right? One for, uh, what happens? Only for Bombay and then for Madras, nothing has been written over here now. Well, now go there and then check on it. So, now what we have done is uh, we have now enabled it actually. Right? That is the only thing we have done now. We enabled it. And go there I will go to the back now. <clears throat> We disabled the other one and then we enabled it. Thank you. Click on save and then go to the manager approvals. Now go to the manager 
this. So only for Bombay, it has been written. Fine. For Bombay, we have written it. So both I will not see. E EMP1 and then the application developer has to come. Fine. EMP2 and then application developer has to come for Bombay. No, see. It's still not coming. <clears throat> no, that's not. So click on back. Maybe what happens after the change, it may even need a re I will give a cancel. No, fine. So this is okay. Fine. If I cancel. Go Bombay is the one that done. So it has been enabled. Fine. Click on done and then come out of it. It is now log out and log in and then see that. Sometimes you have to do this. So click on it. It is now sign out and sign in and then see. <laughs> Go to the setup and maintenance. <coughs> Sorry, I had to log out. <clears throat> Click on it. Let me log out. So sign out. I'm now signing it out. So click on confirm. Click on confirm. And then I will now sign in. And click on sign in. Go there. I will now go to the procurement and then go to the purchase requisitions. This time I will choose this 1004. By default, Madras has to come now, fine. So it is now coming on the right hand side, fine. And then when you edit it, it is now coming on the left hand side, actually. When you edit it, it is now coming on the left hand side. Okay. So it is now coming as a default at the moment. I don't know it. So I click on the manager first. It has to show me EMP2 as well as application developer as the approval, actually. <laughs> okay. So still not coming. Go there. So. Uh, I found out the problem, even though I disabled this one now, fine, but it was still enabled actually. Even though I disabled it, fine, somebody has made it now, fine. So I even disabled it, but it has not got really disabled. I would have checked it twice now, fine, it's not coming. So now if you go to the purchase requisition for Bombay, EMP2, and then application developers is approvals. So click on the manage approvals and then go there, click on it. You can now see that there will be EMP2 and then application developer. Fine. So EMP2 and then application developer is coming. Fine. Give a back now. And then if you choose Madras, only application developer is coming because we are not written any condition as such. So go there. If it is going to be Madras, then what about that? Only application developer will be coming. So go there. So click on C and then I click on the manage approvals. It will not show only application developer actually. So Madras, we are not written any, any extra rules actually. So only application developers. So this completes the, the requisition uh, the DFO actually. And then we can even write it not only on the header, but on the lines as well as distributions also. Right? There are three ways of writing it. So go and make an exploration of this. No, right? The header level and then line level also we can make it. And then the distribution level also we can make it. <clears throat> the distribution means what this one, the charge account distribution. So there's a distribution. So distribution also we can have a DFO. Right? If the account is going to be so and so or if the percentage or quantity or amount, anything is going to be so and so, we can very well redirect it to somebody else. It's a very powerful tool, and then it has been extensively used in the industry actually, as far as uh, the DFF is concerned. So this is on the purchase requisition DFF actually. Bye for now, and then we'll now see one more thing. Stop it. So okay, you can uh, try to practice everything, and then if you have a doubt, please come and ask me, and I'll know. Bye for now.